Morning, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm at a new nature reserve today. I'm in Norfolk and um, I'm exploring a new reserve. So a bit like a couple of weeks ago when I was in Kent, I've got no idea what I'm going to see. I might come away with nothing at all, but this is sort of a fact-finding mission to see what this reserve is like. Um, so I'm going to make my way down this pathway to I think what's called the Fen Hide and the Tower Hide and uh, see, you know, see what turns up. But potentially there's a chance of things like marsh harriers, Bitterns, if you're really lucky, uh, other types of wading birds. Uh, sometimes uh, there's uh, kingfishers spotted, and sometimes, uh, occasionally, there'll be otters as well. So if I get any of those, that will be an absolute result. If I don't get anything, then uh, I'll see how good this reserve is and whether it's worth, um, you know, another visit uh, at a, a different time of the year, or uh, or whether it's one of those places that you need to come to on a reasonably regular basis to get get your shots. Because sometimes. Uh, you can be really lucky, or other times you can come to a reserve and it's got potential, but you don't get anything on that day. So it's a case of, you know, turning up time and time again, really learning the best places in this area to get the photographs and to, to spot the wildlife. So, as I say, this is a fact-finding mission. I may get something today or I may not, but if I don't, uh, it's still great to be out and uh, I'm going to have a good old explore. So uh, I'll speak to you soon, guys. I've just been in the first hide uh, and it was quite nice actually, um, a very still small body of water with lots of perches. Now I didn't vlog from in that hide because there were some other people in there and it's just not really a feasible option to be doing a bit to camera when you've got lots of people around you. I mean, it was only a couple of people but it was, it was a bit awkward. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm walking around to the next hide now which I believe is called Tower Hide but on the way round it's a really nice reserve because there's lots of areas like this where they've cut the reeds down and you get a view onto the mere. So that side, we've got one of the Norfolk Broads over that side, and I've just got a nice picture of a cormorant with its wings outstretched. And then this side, we've got this mere in the background. Uh, I think you can see it okay. And uh, behind me, there's a couple of swans. Now, I know they're, you know, they're mute swans. They're really common uh, birds, but they're, they're lovely to photograph. Um, and I've, there's some little birds just flying in over in the background. I think they're uh, blue tits, actually. But anyway, so I've got some nice pictures. Uh, and some nice footage and the light's really soft at the moment it was quite foggy this morning and what you get with foggy and cloudy uh, light like this is it's very soft and low contrast now for a lot of subjects that's not great because you want that bright light on say if you're photographing perhaps um, an avocet you've got a black eye and a black face so you need directional sunlight to bring that eye out and get a little catch light but because the swans have got this really you know bright white feathers this soft lighting is great because it brings out all the detail in the feathers without any chance of overexposure or underexposure on the background so soft lighting for this situation is quite nice uh, but generally I'd like the light level the light levels to be a bit higher um, because I am shooting with a high ISO number I'm on 3200 at the moment uh, because I want a fast shutter speed in case anything uh, breaks out the reed beds and flies off so for the swans a thousandth of a second, a five hundredth of a second would be fine. But if I say a marsh harrier, and I did, I have seen a distant marsh harrier, if one of them breaks up through the reeds, I want to have a fast enough shutter speed to freeze the motion. And one thing I did see in the first hide, I didn't get any pictures, and I'm absolutely gutted about it, but it just broke out the reeds and flew off the side of the, out the side of the frame uh, really quickly, was a bittern. So uh, I've seen a bittern and a marsh harrier, uh, I've got a couple of distant pictures of the marsh harrier, but I didn't get any of the bitterns. So um, I think it's definitely worth visiting uh, this reserve again because marsh harrier bittern, they're two great birds um, that I'd like to get pictures of. I've got good marsh harrier shots from a couple of weeks ago uh, in Kent, but um, the bittern would have been fantastic. So I'm going to wander around to Tower Hyde now. I think that's got a bigger body of water in front of it and uh, see what we see. So uh, I'll speak to you soon, guys.
I'm at the second hide now, it's called a tower hide I think, and uh, just out the window here we've got the mirror and it is a much bigger body of water than at the first hide. Now there's not a lot here at the moment actually, um, there's a couple of shell duck uh, and a few black headed gulls. Um, I've got some pictures of the shell duck uh, and they're okay but you know nothing special. Uh, I did see a distant marsh harrier but a bit too far away to photograph. But I was talking to a guy in this hide and he said that um, sometimes this whole area is filled with every species of duck that the UK has on offer pretty much. So I think it's one of those places where if you spend the time you would get some good shots. The only thing is though, as the name suggests, uh, tower hide, it is quite high. So I would really concentrate on flight shots here. And I've got a few mallard flying across, so I've got some shots of those in the bag. Because because it's so high, if you photograph anything on the water, especially if it's quite close, you're gonna be looking down on it, and that's not gonna look great. So I think this is the sort of hide where I would concentrate on flight shots, maybe of the marsh harriers if they were closer. It, uh, bitterns fly across here apparently as well, and there'll be all sorts of duck species flying in and flying out on a busier day. So uh, again, I'm not gonna hang around because this is an exploring trip and I wanna see a bit more of the reserve, but I think it's got definitely got potential, potential, and I think I'm gonna walk back to the first hide now. Um, on the way here as well, uh, as I was walking through, you've got hedgerow and, and you know trees and stuff like that, and there's been lots of small birds, blue tits, robins, but also um, I spotted a few field fairs, uh, and they're all field fairs on wax wings, all coming into the UK uh, as we speak, and the numbers are building up and they feed on sort of like rowan berries and uh, slow berries and, and all that sort of stuff. So if I can get some shots of the field fairs on the way back, uh, that will be great and that will be a real added bonus for today. So uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon guys. I think I'm just about done now. Uh, the light levels are really dropping and it's misty and murky, so I don't think I'm gonna get any great photographs from now on, uh, but it's been a cracking day. Um, so I haven't got anything sort of stunning. I've got uh, some field fare, uh, cormorant, um, what else? Um, some swans and some other bits and pieces. So it's not been the best day's photography, but it's been a really great day uh, exploring this new reserve and it's got bags of potential. And I've absolutely loved it. And it's really relaxing, there's water everywhere. Uh, there's a forest area that I've just walked through and had a little explore of and all you've got is the sound of water in the background so it's so relaxing. Uh, there's reed beds, there's, uh, there's mares, there's the, the, uh, some of the Norfolk broads over there and there's little streams running throughout the whole of this woodland so I've really really enjoyed today. Uh, as I say I haven't got any stunning pictures, I've got a few bits and bobs so I've got enough I think hopefully to keep this video interesting uh, but it's been brilliant. So. As usual, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video, and if you have enjoyed it, if you can give it a thumbs up, a like, that will be brilliant, always helps my channel, and if you haven't already subscribed, if you can consider subscribing, that will be brilliant. Um, and then, last but not least, uh, if you've got great experiences of, um, you know, visiting or exploring a, a new uh, wildlife area, just uh, let me know and drop them in the comments section below. So thanks for watching, uh, and I'll talk to you on my next video. So bye for now, guys.